today. Well, first of all, I hope you guys enjoyed the bathroom remodel video. Remodel videos. Um, it was a two-part series, so if you haven't seen both of them, go check those out. And uh, that was fun. I liked uh, doing the epoxy countertop. That was one of my first uh, countertops I've done. Uh, it came out great. I can't. I mean, it, there was a few things I could have did better, but <clears throat> I'm happy with it. The wife likes it. The bathroom is so nice. We use that bathroom more than the other one, so I can't complain on that one. The trim, just everything. It was nice. All right, so today we're gonna make a make a smoke box for somebody. So it'll be just a simple little box with a bottom, you know, four sides, a lid, open and close, because that's what lids do. They open and close. I've had this scrap scrap, scrap wood. I've had this scrap wood sitting around. It's from, uh, so when I make cutting boards, the handles, obviously you got a lot of waste and I don't like to waste. So I keep it and this is, I have a shelf full of this stuff. And for months I haven't, I don't know what to do with it. So when somebody asked me to make them a little smoke box so they can keep all their stuff inside, they didn't care what the pattern looked like. You know, they gave me some dimensions to go off of, but that was about it, to just do whatever I wanted. So I'm gonna piece all this stuff together and get the box done. It's gonna be no particular pattern. I don't care what's next to what, I'm just, I'm just going to put it together and it's going to come out how it's going to come out. I know some of you aren't going to like that and your OCD is going to keep you up at night, but I'm going to sleep good. So let's cut this stuff up. We're going to square everything up, get rid of the excess, and then we'll figure out what we have and piece stuff together to get each side to, uh, to the correct length. And then we'll glue it up and then keep going from there. So first step, getting this stuff squared up. These have been in the mold, in the molds. <sighs> These have been in the clamps for a couple days. Uh, we've got all four sides and we've got the top over there. So we're gonna go ahead and get these out, get them ran through the planer. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'll just show you after I run them all through the planer. Um, and then the next step after the planer, I really wanna do finger joints, but I'm not really comfortable with those. And yeah, I don't wanna mess it up on this project. So we'll try it another time. But we're just gonna butt these together, I think. I might do like a half lap, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. But let me get these out and get them ran through the planer. Always use these, uh, I'm not sure what to call them. There's a name for them. Uh, but after I clamp them up like this to keep it from trying to bow, I always clamp these on it. Uh, on top and below and I clamp it just to keep the boards one keep them even and two keep them from trying to bow up in the middle calls that's what they're called I don't know how to spell that c-a-w-s maybe that sounds about right anyway I use these all the time I've got some uh, tuck tape on them or you could just use uh, regular like clear packaging tape um, the glue doesn't stick to it and they just pop right off sometimes you gotta hit it with a hammer but they come right off Also, on these bar clamps like this, if there's a lot of glue that gets on them, so I use a furniture paste. It's like a paste wax or something like that. Um, if I can figure it out, I'll leave a link in the description. But I put that on my clamps and it'll, the glue will get on there and then it'll just chip it off. And it's an easy cleanup. If not, then it like, I don't know, it like corrodes the, I don't know if this is like galvanized or what it is, but it like, it's just, it gets nasty. So I, I cover everything in that paste and it really helps out. So just a pro tip. Got all these, these are the long sides of the box. These are the shorter sides. Uh, I didn't really want to just butt these up together. Just, you know, like that. I mean, obviously I would round this over, but I don't know. I kind of want to try something different. So, I'm going to try a rabbit joint. So these are the short sides. Now the short side, these are half an inch. So half of that is a quarter of an inch. I've got my, I think these are called like setup blocks or something like that. I don't know the names of stuff. I just know how to use it. Anyway, so <clears throat> I got my quarter inch depth, right? So I'm going to just shave off just 
it's like a dado pretty much, but on the very end, that's what a rabbit is. So over here, I'll take off just half an inch. I'll go up half an inch, take that off. That way, whenever the this fits on here, whenever this fits on here, it'll be kind of sank down like that. I, I hope this is all making sense. It doesn't make sense, but like I know what I'm trying to do, so it makes sense. Anyway, so I'll pretty much cut out a groove so this can sit flat in here. Instead of it buttoning up like this, it'll be like down here. Does that make sense? Let me just show you. Let's just show you. But since I have this, I can go ahead and get my blade depth. Um, and then remember, like I said before, with this, the teeth on here, make sure you're like your highest tooth is at the depth that you want it and not just, you know, the bottom of the blade or something like that, you know? Not that great of explaining stuff. All right, so that is perfect. So, this is half an inch. So, I'm gonna come in half an inch, cut my first groove, and then I'll just hog out the rest of the material on the way out. Also, I grabbed this handy dandy book to figure out what kind of joint I wanted. Hope you guys can see this, let me see. I use this book, so this is a woodworking book. I still reference it here and there. Um, but yeah, I opened it to figure out what kind of joint I wanted. You got biscuit joints. I don't even have a biscuit joiner, so I can't do those. A screw joint, that's what I don't want to do. Um, a dowel joint. I do have dowels, but I guess I could have done dowels. Um, a dado. Can't really do a dado here. So I guess it was really down to just a rabbit joint and a uh, dowel joint. Um, this is a, a rabbit joint right there. So as you can see what we're gonna do We're gonna hog out the material here, and then this piece here will fit flush in there so let's See what other joints they got in here. What are the joints? This is what I wanted to do. So this is a finger joint. I have a jig for it and everything set up I just haven't really played around with it um, And the rest of the joints are above my skill skill level right now uh, this is a dove joint a half blind dove joint you know tongue and groove i've done tongue and groove before i have a bit for it for the router table it just you know there's a time and a place for every every joint um but i want to do the finger joint I didn't get around to it this time maybe next time but for sure we're gonna do this rabbit joint make it just a wee bit fancy Got the rabbit done. This is what they look like from the front, from the top, from the side. Now our other piece. This is a long side. It fits right in there. So now if I do want to put like a brad nail or something like that in here, I can still put glue up there. That way we'll have a bond from the glue and we'll have the brad nail holding it in place. So now we have two things holding this together instead of just, you know, a screw or a nail or something like that. And these came out pretty good. So one thing I will say, uh, my saw blade, it's got like a, like a bevel to it. So I hope you guys can see this, but up here, it's... Hey. Up here, it's kind of like, uh, there's like ridges, like your fingernail catches on all of them. So uh, I do have a dado stack and I could have used that. All those blades are flat. So whenever you do make this cut, it's real smooth, but I've got chisels. So I'll just take just a hair off of this uh, and we should be fine. So you can either use a square top. I think that's what it's called, square top blade, where instead of them being beveled, they're square. So you get a flat thing, or you could just use a um, dado stack get the same results or you can just use a blade like i do because i'm lazy and i don't want to take it out i don't have a zero clearance insert for it so i'm just going to put a chisel on this and call it a day
All right, these are done. Had to make about three or four passes to get it just right because the blade is about an eighth of an inch, I believe. And this here is quarter inch. So had to sneak up on that real nice lag. So as you can see, I mean, it's, it's perfect. That is pretty good. Nice and snug. And then what I did to, <clears throat> so anytime I adjusted the fence, I ran all three pieces through and then I readjusted the fence, ran all three pieces through. So all these uh, dados are exactly the same size. We got less material holding this one. These are the clamps that I've been wanting, um, but I've never really had to build a box for anything, so I've never really needed them. Um, I got these off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description uh, if you guys want to check these things out. Uh, we'll take these off in a minute, but these are the inserts that go inside, like the dividers. Um, <clears throat> I, I just recut these because I don't know if you can see this, but the holes, when you put them together, they line up. It's like just one single hole. These are the old ones. I, I mean, I don't, was I sleeping when I made these? This is terrible. So that's why everything looked all cattywampus. So these are trash. These are the new ones. These are the other dividers. That's done. Let's get this out of these clamps. Come a little closer. A little closer. So you have these tabs on the side, push them all up. Screw it close in it. And this one is stuck to it. Definitely gonna be using these a lot more. Alright, we're on to the juice groove part of this build. So, real quick, I had to make a, a juice groove like jig. Um, this was my flattening jig years ago. Um, and it's just been sitting in the corner of the garage. There was a black widow that made its home on it, so I had to relocate her. Don't worry, she's okay. Um, but this is how this is gonna go together. Let's hope I did this right. I did. All right. So I've already measured how far. So this flat plate here is gonna ride against these walls and that'll put my, um, the center of this bit, I've already measured how far in I want it. So if I wanted it further in, then I would've just screwed these boards closer to the inside here. So that's how that works. So now I just need to screw these I just need to screw this board to this one. That'll secure them in place. It'll secure the this uh, piece of wood, and then I'll be able to take my router and go along all four sides, and your drew screw is done. Um, that's way too deep and that's, that, this, this didn't work out. You know, let's just keep going. We're already here. That bit I used, it's uh, it's trash. It was smoking way too much. I'm surprised it's not burned more than it is. Um, so this is a little bit deeper than I wanted, but I don't think it's that bad. It's like a juice valley. The box is finished off camera. I put some hinges on it, put a little latch on the front. Easy peasy, opens up. So uh, pretty excited about this one. Uh, 
Hope they like it. But yeah, this is just made out of scrap. And I think it turned out pretty cool. This is my first time really doing a box, like using um, the dados and all that to put like a bottom in. To put the bottom in and all the uh, <clears throat> all the shelves, all the dividers and all that. So to finish this, I'll be using some Butcher Block Oil and Finish. Come a little closer. So this is the oil and finish. This is my favorite part, putting a finish on something. Sheesh, look at that. Now, I know some of you are looking at these burn marks and you're like, well, why didn't you just sand those out? Well, I tried and they wouldn't come out. So they have to stay. I wasn't about to make another lid. Um, so just lesson learned, I guess. I should have known that bit wasn't gonna be, it was gonna be too dull and it was gonna burn, but I had already started and I couldn't stop, couldn't go back. So now we're here. You live and learn, you learn. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed me fumble through this. Um, probably gonna make some more of these or some more boxes. I do wanna get my finger joints down packed because that's what I really wanted to make on this one, but that didn't work out, so we had to do a half lap. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Everybody that's new and that's subscribed lately, I appreciate you too. And see you guys in the next one.